Hi, it's Tammy, and as some of you already know, I had a fabulous vacation this past month when my boyfriend and I went to Germany. It was my very first trip to Europe, and it certainly won't be my last. We had some amazing experiences, so I thought I'd share a little bit of, of what we saw and what we did with you today. Um, being my first trip to Europe, we decided on going to Germany first because my boyfriend is a retired Army Colonel and he was actually stationed over there for eight years of his 27 years in the service, so thank you to him for what he has done. The location that we stayed at was at Garmisch Partikin. It actually was a military family hotel. So they had a lot of tours that were prearranged that you could choose, pick and choose from each day to go. So rather than renting a car and trying to figure out our way with MapQuest or anything like that, we decided that that was the best way to see the sights. Um, that way we could both walk, look out the window as well instead of one of us trying to, to drive. So we were able to, uh, to pick and choose, like I said, off of the list of offerings that the hotel had already had set up. Some of the places were just amazing, and I think um, Tim actually did all the planning and he did a fabulous job in picking the, the right places for us to go and see. Uh, when we went into some of the restaurants to eat, uh, first of all, we followed with the guides on the tours that we were with. Uh, most of the places we could go ahead and go on our own within the little area walking distance of, of other restaurants. But we kind of figured that if the tour guide was eating at one location that the food had to be pretty good if they consistently go back there. So we did that. So how do you know what to order when you're someplace you've never been? Um, even though I am familiar with some German food, my, my heritage is almost 100% German. Uh, I can't read German. Tim, Tim can. Um, and so he, thank God he was with me on, on a lot of things. but. Um, what I would do is generally ask my server if they were to order a food today, what would they get for their meal? So that allows you the opportunity to get a taste of what the locals like to have. So it, it's, a, it's a great way to, to try things, to test things, and sometimes it's a surprise. You might get something you didn't think that you were getting or you thought you understood you were getting one thing and the plate comes and it looks completely different. But every time that that happens with me, it's a wonderful surprise. So it's a, it's a great way to, to go someplace and not be afraid of what you're going to get. And you know what? If, if you don't care for it, you can always order something else. Um, I did post a lot of the, of the food that we had on Good Food for Every Mood page on Facebook. So you can kind of follow some of the menus um, that, we, that we ate at or some of the restaurants that we ate at and the food that was selected. The hotel where we stayed was pretty Americanized, so that didn't have a lot of German fare. But as far as German fare goes, um, and, and if you want to get a taste of it around here locally, we live in, in Orlando, so we, we do have access to a lot of international food places. There is a wonderful little German restaurant up in Sanford called The Willow Tree, and it is pretty authentic. Um, we've eaten up there a couple times, had the pleasure of talking with the head chef, he actually sat down with us the first time we ate there and uh, delicious meal, amazing food. They actually have a little deli that's associated with the restaurant around the corner. So you can go and buy some of the food and prepare it yourself or taste some of the, the, the German meats. Uh, they have homemade desserts in there. Pretty, pretty amazing. So definitely check that place out if you're looking to have German food. Um, on the last full day that we were uh, staying at Edelweiss, the, the lodge in Garmisch, we, the bus tour that we selected that day was to go into northern Italy to a small town called Bolzano, which is actually the capital of that section of Italy. And that was kind of news to me because I didn't think there were different capitals, but it's similar to having capitals of states here in America. Um, it was really cool, but my dream is definitely to go to Italy, and that uh, I believe is going to be our next European venture. But um, the food, we, because it's so close to Germany, you have the options, or there's definitely the Bavarian influence up there, but you also have the traditional, what you think of, Italian food. So, of course, being in Italy, you have to experience Italian food. That was my opinion, at least. So I was thrilled when we got there to have a glass of red wine. Uh, we shared a pizza, uh, a small pizza. We shared some pasta. And then we walked around the town, just a beautiful area, and sat down in the, in the piazza and had some gelato. So 
my life is complete now that I've done all those things in Italy. Uh, like I said, definitely looking forward to experiencing more of that in the future. But that, that trip was a lot of fun. Um, and one of my high points during the week. There were so many high points, but that was, that was definitely one of my favorite days. Obviously, you can't take vacations to Europe every day, so how do you go about experiencing some of the tastes that you would have in Europe or in any other foreign country? Um, like I said earlier, Orlando has a very diverse population and a lot of different great ethnic restaurants to go out and try. Uh, one thing that we did was we did a food tour that stopped at a couple different, um, different restaurants that we actually had never heard of. We had some uh, Egyptian food one night. We went, um, we had some French food, which you know we've had a lot of people have eaten French food before. Um, you can sample Italian, you can sample Moroccan. Uh, out on International Drive, in, in that area, you truly can taste international flavors if you're looking for it. There's a um, visitorlando.com, I believe is the website that you can go and, and do a search for some, you know, for some ethnic restaurants or just Google it and, you know, in Orlando, however you want to search it. But um, great opportunities to have tastes and, and, and see what it's like and see what other cultures do and just, you know, experience it. Don't be afraid. And then don't be afraid to try it in your own kitchen. You know, Google some recipes and, and look things up or feel free to, to send me a message and I'll be happy to do it for you too. I love to experiment in the kitchen and, um, you know, as a lot of you know, I have a cooking club and I've exposed a lot of our, the ladies in the cooking club to things that they've never had before too in different tastes and different foods and just, you know, life is an adventure and, and food is an adventure, so live it and love it. So don't forget to find me on Facebook, Good Food for Every Mood, um, and also you can link it through the Oviedo Chicks page as well. Uh, I like to post pictures of foods that I make, locations that I go, restaurants that I see, and we'll be sharing tips with the holidays coming up, how to make things simple and easy but still yummy and, and not real expensive either and not, not real detailed. We're, we all live busy lives so some days you can take more time than others to, to prepare you know, a more intricate meal but a lot of times you know we're, we're, we're busy people, we have jobs, we have kids, we have families so but you still want to put together something good that, that puts you in a good mood so uh, be sure to check that out and uh, if you have any questions like I said just drop a note and I'd be happy to get back with you. Thank you.